Uh, my name is Beatriz Talavera. I'm going to talk about the reducing of energy consumption in building by incorporating microencapsulated PCM in rigid polyurethane foam. This project is being carried out in the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of Castilla-La Mancha in collaboration with the company Aciona Infraestructura. So, uh, the energy, the, the constant increase of energy demand is promoting the use of new renewable energy sources and also the development of new systems for heavy energy. The solar energy is standard as a good alternative, but it is renewable, clean, and also universal. But unfortunately, it needs to be stored. Uh, the use of latent heat nowadays is getting more important than the material that you use to do your cold phase chain material. So, a phase chain material is a substance with a high latent heat of fusion, able to absorb, store, and release large amounts of energy. This is a good part of a PCN that can't be used. They can be classified classify into groups, and uh, they are organic one uh, from which the standard hydrotail cell and also <coughs> organic ones uh, such as canned paraffin and waxes. And how do they work? Well, when it is hot outside, the temperature of the PCN rises up to reach their meeting point and then they start to spend the energy in the phase chains and keeping the temperature inside the building close to the meeting point. And in the opposite case, when it is cool outside, this uh, PCN solidifies releasing the energy it has previously stored. So some property is required in order to apply them in buildings. So having a meeting temperature about 25 degrees and a high latent heat, it must be low cost, good uh, available and non tonsi and non corrosive uh, materials. And then I said where we place the they can be incorporated into wall board selling floors and shutter of window and cooling and heating system. And uh, another important point is the way we incorporate them. It can be done directly, misentangled with the rest of the building material, but it can't be done by previous microencapsulation and further application. So here we see a, a microcapsule with a core of PCN and a cell of uh, polymers. And so this second advantage, microcapsulation, had many advantages. So. Uh, we can say that it avoids losing the PCN, avoid the interaction between the PCN and the rest of the building material, uh, making easier the handling of the PCN and increasing the area of heat transfer. And in our case, we had a uh, microencapsulating PCN by means of two different techniques, spray dyeing technique and suspension polymerization, selecting the, uh, the ones produced by spray dyeing technique for these uh, projects. Uh, here, as we can see in this slide, this microcapsule show a quite spherical uh, shape and a narrow particle size distribution. Differential scanning colorimetry were used to know the latent heat and also the uh, microcapsule, the paraffin into the microcapsules. And in the last figure, we can see that this a microcapsule after a several cycle of heating and cooling, they maintain their latent heat. And so, <coughs> the directive on energy performance of building state that buildings are responsible for 40% of the energy consumption and 30% of the CO2 emissions. So, this is the key to achieve the energy objective. Uh, therefore, this project is focused on the left development of building with a more efficient use of energy. One way to achieve this is the incorporation of PCN into uh, buildings uh, for getting a thermal energy storage. In uh, this way, we, we, we get to reduce the energy consumption, the environmental pollution, save it at the same time a lot of money in energy. And uh, therefore, the aim of this war is to develop sandwich panels receiving high test capacity. This panel consists on a, a box, an external seat of epoxy resin and a core of polyurethane foam. Uh, the synthesis of polyurethane consists on the condensation reaction between the polyols and polysocyanate. Uh, we first uh, added the PCN to polyols and then some additives are incorporating blowing agent and also sulfata to regulate the morphology of the foam cell. And 
uh, having a uh, having found with different microencapsulated PCN content, uh, we studied the main properties at a, a microcapsule distribution, latent heat, for the structural and cell cell intensity, and mechanical resistance. Uh, here we can see the experimental setup for the macro developed by our department that allow us to know the thermal behavior of this phone. We place the phone in an isothermal chamber and then we apply a control chain in temperature to prone 80 to for this Celsius degree. And then temperature and also heat fluxes were recorded. And here we can see the thermocouple distribution, the heat flux sensor location, and also the side of the phone. Uh, as we can see in this slide, there are two thermocouple at both sides of the plate. There are two more in the middle of the sample, and there is another pair uh, on the center sulfur. And regarding the flux sensor, we can see that there is one um, below the phone. There is another one on the center sulfur, and there are two more at both sides of the phone. And here, this, is, this device is the differential scanning calorimeter that uh, to analyze the influence, to analyze the test capacity of this one. And the second picture, we see the place where we place the, the sample that we want to measure. And uh, mechanical characterization was uh, carried out. And um, in order to analyze the influence of this microencapsulated PCI into a uh, mechanic property of the phone. And uh, so compression tests were uh, performing according to this STM uh, standard, and uh, that is a standard for compressive property of rigid cellular plastic. And uh, now we are going to review some of the results. So as we can see in this slide, higher microcapsule contents uh, means lower recent rate and also uh, the lower is the final phone height. This result can be justified as the, uh, with the, by the higher viscosity of the phone and system when a uh, higher amount of microcasset are incorporated. Uh, phone density were calculated by weighting and measuring the volume uh, uh, the, the sample were taken out. So we can see uh, that the density as it was expected, the density increased with the microcapsule content. It's important to know that the sparring regulation point out that the density of this form for building applications should be higher than 30 kilograms per cubic meter. So we can say that we satisfy the restriction being improved with the presence of microcapsule. And uh, here we see the result of DCC analysis in this table. We see that the and the experimental and also the, the theoretical values for latent heat at different points of the phone with different microcapsule content. It's important to point out that the Haggard's value, that is 40 years per gram, is higher than the one reporting in literature, that is a 16 years per gram. And that is the value that we have with a 20% of patient. Uh, so we can conclude that the, high, the higher latent heat uh, is obtained with higher microcapsule content. Uh, taking into account this ritual, we can also say that the uh, microcapsules were well distributed into the, the world phone as the all synthetic size uh, samples show higher test capacity than the poor phone. And here we see some, some photograph of this pre-return phone with different microcapsule content. As we can see in this slide, rigid pre-return phone are for form it with microcapsules that are located not only in the strut but also into the cell world one when higher microcapsule co contain unincorporated. It uh, was also shared that the uh, thickness of the strut increased with the filler addition. And here we can see the, that the compression there will carry out the specific compression strength and models were calculated for excluding the density as fed to the, in the mechanical uh, resistance. And uh, so we have represented the specific compression then and the specific compression model uh, as a function of ECN content. So we can observe there is no significant difference between the values of the phone containing up to 20%, but uh, on the other hand, there is a sharp decrease in the mechanical resistance for higher content. Uh, but uh, we have checked that these values are in the rate of two reporting literature that we can see in this slide. And 
Here we see the result of their math analysis, and here we can check the experimental variation of temperature at different points of a region of without a PCN. We see that the thermostatic path show a change in a step from 80 to 40 Celsius degree, and uh, there were two thermocathodes in the opposite position to the uh, direction flow, so we checked that the, both thermocathodes that were playing on the external surface uh, show the same temperature profile and the same happened with the ones that were played in the uh, middle of the phone and the ones that were played on the plate. So uh, we can conclude that one dimensional flow can be assumed. And, and the maximum insulating effect is uh, 15 degrees. And here we see the, um, the result when the uh, temperature on the average of the temperature on the plate were calculated. So we see that the higher microcapsule content means higher, the higher is the thermal capacity and also the lower is the low of the temperature uh, curves at short period of time. This behavior, this behavior is much more clear when percentage higher than 20% is, is incorporated. And uh, regarding the input heat flow, they increase with the microcapsule content and that means that they will be a maximum energy absorb or lower insulator in effect. And um, this behavior is more clear when uh, the average of the standard temperature were calculated. Again, we, see, we check that the similar temperature are, uh, are, can be seen in other stationary period, but, um, however, there is a big difference in the temperature in the transition step. If we consider a form we contain a 50% of microcapsule, we see that uh, this form takes six more or less hours to get the, the temperature that um, a, form, a poor form has. And this is due to the emitting of the PCN by energy absorption. So um, output heat flow decreases with the microcapsule content, and that means that this ability uh, has a great ability to absorb energy. And uh, by uh, extracting the outlet heat flow from the input heat flow, we cannot take the total rate of uh, accumulated uh, energy. So these triangles means the total energy of a cell during one step temperature change from 80 to 40 degrees. And uh, we can conclude that the thermal energy storage of this material uh, is really high. Mm. One. Um, and so uh, we have determined the thermal conductivity and the heat capacity by using the, uh, the equation that are uh, shown in this slide. And the, we represented the thermal, the thermal capacity and also the thermal conductivity as a function of the PCN content. And, and we checked that both parameter, uh, parameters increase uh, 0 0.05 and 7 10 less 4 respectively with the microcapsule content and we have checked that both parameters are representative of the reporting in literature and and uh, taking into account the last result if we, uh, if we consider a standard room cover and a standard rule uh, with these dimensions, 3 per 4 per 2.5 cubic meter, covered with a 1 cubic meter of, panel, of this panel of rigid period down form with a thickness of 3 uh, centimeter, uh, we will get to save uh, up to 5.38 kilowatt hour per cubic meter uh, if we use a form containing 50% uh, of PTN. And uh, so finally, the energy that can be saved by this material 
uh, can be represented by the following examples. So if we consider that the consumption of a, of a 60 watt light bulb is equal to 1.44 kilowatt hour, we can say that the energy saved by our room cover with this panel containing 50% uh, of microcaster is equal to the energy spent by four light bulbs uh, working all the day. So we can conclude that the, this my, um, this microcapsule in polyurethane form not only allow to save energy but also reduce the CO2 emission according to the study of the CNE center that stated that 0 0.35 kilograms uh, of CO2 are emitted per uh, kilowatt hour that is produced. Thank you so much for your attention and uh, feel free to ask any questions. Yes, we have time for a question. No question. I have one. <laughs> uh, what about the effect of the foam on conductivity to reach? I mean, to reach the, uh, the microcapsule. When we increase the microcapsule content, we have to say that the conductivity increase with the microcaps to content. Because of the concentration or because, because there's more microcaps? There are more amount of uh, microcapsules and that microcapsules have this property mm -hmm. because uh, in the, at, uh, um, at the, at the in the transitional condition can be um, um, more insulated but in the uh, not in, in the uh, state condition. 